And we're following a developing story out of Miramar where police issued an arrest warrant for two NFL players accused of armed robbery. Police say DeAndre Baker of the New York Giants and Quentin Dunbar of the Seattle Seahawks robbed several people at gunpoint during a house party on Wednesday night. CBS 4's Ted Scott is live outside the jail in Fort Lauderdale with the latest, Ted. Yeah, Maribel, there are jail cells ready and waiting for these two NFL players here at the Broward County Jail. We're waiting to see if they turn themselves in today. Both of them are accused of some very serious crimes. DeAndre Baker, cornerback for the New York Giants, and Quinton Dunbar of the Seattle Seahawks are wanted men. Miramar police say the two pulled guns and robbed several people at a house party Wednesday night. According to the arrest warrant, a witness said at this party, attendees were playing cards, video games, and gambling. The police report goes on to say DeAndre Lamar Baker and another person, identified as Shy, flipped over the table and brandished firearms. That Baker and Shy pointed firearms at the face of a victim. And Baker walked over to him and took his money, $4,000, at $17,500. The report shows they're accused of taking $12,400 in cash and watches valued at $61,100. Baker is wanted for four counts of armed robbery and four counts of aggravated assault. Dunbar faces four counts of robbery with a firearm. Dunbar was recently traded to the Seattle Seahawks. He spoke to media there Thursday morning just before his arrest warrant was issued. I don't have no worries in Seattle. I'm happy to be in Seattle and I just want to go out there and play ball and help a team however I can. Now, a witness told Miramar police said a couple of days ago the two lost $70,000 at a card game in Miami. At the moment, neither one of them are in custody. Once they are in custody, they'll be held here at the jail with no bond until they can have a hearing. Meanwhile, the NFL and both teams are aware of those arrest warrants. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.